Today we're canoeing on the Humber River at the West Bank. We're accessing it at Kings Mill Park, located at 105 Riverwood Parkway. Six essential items that you need even before you get into the canoe are required by law. First of all, the most important item would be your PFD or your life vest, personal flotation device. It has to fit properly as well as has to meet the Canadian standards. Another item would be some kind of sound device, such as a P-less whistle or an air horn. A waterproof flashlight. Another item would be 15 meters of flotation rope, a buoyant rope that is contained in a throw bag per se, a water pump or a homemade bale, such as this one, a paddle, and then you're good to go. For more information on what to carry in a kayak or canoe, visit Safe Boating Guide. And you could definitely look it up on the internet to see what to carry by law. Before we start paddling, I like to talk about some hidden hazards on the river. The water itself, that's why we always wear our PFDs or life uh, vest, as you could drown if you're not a strong swimmer. But the temperature itself can be extremely hazardous, especially the cold winter we've had. If you're paddling early on in the year, you have to be very aware of immersion hypothermia or cold water shock. That is where if you fall into cold water, you could gasp, inhale that cold water and drown. So a PFD is so important. With this beautiful warm weather, pick your clothing wisely, especially when we go canoeing. Let's start at our feet. What I like to wear is water shoes. Also quick drying pants, such as materials made out of polypropylene, as well as maybe even thin fleece for the shirt or some type of nylon that will dry quickly. You wanna wear a hat. Definitely wanna protect yourself from the sun. A wide brim hat rather than a baseball cap, protecting the back of the neck as well as the sides. Your sunglasses are so important to protect you from the sun bouncing off the water. And I like to secure my sunglasses around my neck because if they fall in the water, you're gonna be losing your sunglasses. So remember, protect yourself from the sun with a tight weave type of clothing, hat, sunglasses, and your sunscreen. And then we're gonna be ready to go to explore this beautiful river. Soloing the canoe, I've turned the canoe around so I'm gonna be in the bow. So now I'm gonna place some items in the canoe and secure it in the canoe. So just in case I tip. What I always carry is a sturdy waterproof container that I put my keys, my cell phone, my wallet in. And I like to attach this to the canoe just in case I tip. And I want to balance out my canoe, so I'm going to place my other dry sack here, and then I'm also going to secure it in place. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to get into the canoe. Since I'm soloing, it's a different way of getting in if you have a partner. So I'm going to lift the canoe up like so. This is where I get my feet wet a little bit. Come in, step in, launch myself out. Now I'm ready to paddle. I'm just gonna go for a little bit of a paddle. Just really enjoy this scenery. I like about canoeing is that just being on the water is so calm and relaxing. It's a good form of upper body exercise also. It's a great sensation just gliding on the water.
The scenery is spectacular. The marsh itself is a real beautiful state of calmness. You're out of the wind, some beautiful wildlife. You don't want to get too close to the ducks or the swan. Let's give them their way. You can imagine the voyagers paddling down here during the fur trade. That would be a sight to see. You see how the J-stroke is really coming in handy in keeping the canoe straight. It's primarily a stern stroke or when the person's in the back of the canoe. In my uh, kit, I always also carry rain gear just in case. You see the wind is picking up. So the clothing I have is also wind resistant. But it's just perfect. You should bring at least a couple of liters of water out here as you dehydrate pretty fast. Especially in this warmer weather and the sun beating down on you. You know, there's so many things to do in Etobicoke, and this is one of them. Canoeing the Humber River. What a relaxing experience. Thank you.